OpenAI just launched the GPT store. They made this announcement on January 10, 2024. They provided a introduction to the GPT store guideline and blog post here. So this is going to be a very short video. We're going to quickly go through the different sections of the announcement and then we'll also take a look at the GPT store itself. We'll take a look at the different features and we'll go ahead and publish one of our existing GPTs that we have created into the GPT store and discover how that process works. With that being said, let's get started. So the GPT store announcement was made on January 10th. OpenAI put this blog post. So there's different sections here. Let's go through them quickly one by one. Uh, so that there's a trending section so they have some in the gpt storefront page they're gonna have some gpts that's gonna be trending so let's go ahead and take a look at this so i'm gonna be coming to obviously chat.openai.com and if you come here and click on explore gpts this is gonna now directly take you to the gpt store where before when you clicked on the gp explore gpt section it will take you to the front page where you can create your own GPTs, but now it's gonna take you directly to the GPT store. So the section here, the trending store, this is what it's talking about. It's talking about the top um, trending GPTs that are made by the GPT community. And again, these are gonna be all the custom GPTs that are made by individuals like you and me, or by companies that have posted the, in the GPT store and that are trending for that particular time. So you can see things like the AI PDF, Consensus, this is one of the most popular ones. Um, and then things like WebPilot, this used to be a plugin, but obviously now the plugins are gone, so they're gonna uh, provide that most popular GPTs that are trending on the front page of the GPT store. So then they're gonna have a second new feature GPTs every week. So this is gonna be uh, highlighting the useful and impactful GPTs per week. So they're talking about the featured ones right here. So it's gonna say curated topics from this week. So all the popular GPTs that are um, used, or I should say the most used GPTs for that week are gonna, are gonna show up right here on top, so the main page. So things like all trails, again, consensus, book, code tutor, these are very popular GPTs already. So uh, people that are using these, and again, most likely it's gonna be based on usage. So the more people use a GPT for that particular week, it's gonna show up here. So if you have a GPT that you have built that's very popular and people are using it, it's gonna most likely show up here, and therefore it's gonna cause more people to use your GPT. All right, including your GPT in this store. So let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna actually go ahead and take a look at one of our existing GPTs and publish that into the store. So before we used to click on the export GPTs, it will take you directly to your GPTs itself. Now you have to come to the top right corner and click on my GPTs. So this is gonna take you to the page where this was before. So now if you wanna create your own GPT and go through that process and publish it uh, from the beginning, or you can take a look at your existing GPTs and publish one of those. So I'm gonna take a look at the ones that I've built before. So let's see. I'm gonna click on this one, the Time Traveler Tutor. So I'm gonna click on Edit GPT. And then on the top right here, I'm gonna come on Say Save. And as you can see right now, it's published only to me, but I'm gonna click on Everyone. And so this is what's gonna show up on the GPT uh, store. So it's gonna have the title, um, the logo, and then also who it's built by. So the GPT workshop, so this is going to be the name that's on your billing in the GPT uh, account. Uh, again, if you want to find out more details, I did a previous video on this, so you can take a look at uh, that one to see how you can change this or how you can find that name there. So the category, this is going to be automatic, so whatever GPT you're building, uh, it's going to automatically assign it to a particular category, but if you want to change it, or for example, if it's inaccurate, you can do it from here. But we're going to leave it as education because obviously this is a GPT that's about world history. Um, so I'm going to click on confirm. All right, so now it says published. So I can click on view GPT and it's going to take me directly to the GPT where I can interact with it. And if you want, if I want to find out where this is on the GPT store or look for it in the GPT store, I'm going to click on explore GPTs. And now I can search it right here. So these are going to be all the uh, public GPTs that are made by people. So I'm going to say time traveler tutor oh i spelled traveler wrong but that's fine there you go so now it's finding it so because this is published in the store anybody can search for this and interact with it all right so another thing they announced was um, 
earning money on the GPT usage. So in Q1, they're gonna launch the GPT Builder Revenue Program. Right now, there's there's not much of information available, uh, but obviously the first step, they're gonna have US builders that's gonna be paid based on user engagement. So what this means is that if you have a GPT that's very popular and people are using it, then they're gonna share um, some revenue uh, with you. Again, most likely it's gonna be if you have a GPT that's very popular, whether it's a trending page, or if it's something that people are using, uh, they will most likely um, share the revenue with you per usage. Again, these are all speculation at this point. Obviously, they will launch this in Q1 and then let us know more details. Um, all right, and then one more thing. So as far as the store itself, um, as you can see, there's gonna be several sections. So there's top picks, top picks here, obviously. So these are the featured for that week, the trending ones. Um, and then at the bottom, these are all the GPTs that are created by the GPT team, um, by Dolly. And then if you wanna take a look at a particular mm -hmm. section, so for example, if you're interested in writing, you can now actually click on that writing tab and it will bring you to that particular section and all of the popular GPTs that are uh, in that category will show up right here. So same thing with productivity, research and analysis, programming, education, lifestyle. I don't know if they're gonna change this, meaning would they add more things here? Uh, but for now, these are the only categories that are available, but I'm sure as things get more popular, uh, they might add more categories. All right, so this is very exciting. Hopefully you guys find this video helpful. Um, stay tuned for more.